Hello everybody and welcome to Looty tonight. It is Looty, it is tonight. I am back here with Lagoon. Lagoon, are you ready to watch an awesome game? I am ready to watch these Division 8A finals with last good standing going as the Hoot Hoot recruits. So mm -hmm. I saw, I, I took, I looked at some notes earlier today from the, um, you know, the amazing challenge website. I learned that both these teams haven't, they're, they're in the finals here of Div 8A and they didn't even get through their respective groups with five O's. They were, uh, I believe last, last good standing went 4-1 and Hoot Hoot recruits went 3-2. And then once these guys got in the bracket, they're like, okay, we're going to turn it on now. I believe Hoot Hoot Recruits got two 5 0 sets until they went 5 3 last week against Rainfall. Mm -hmm. And last week, Sandy had some pretty good games and then had a nail biter a set against Art Supplies, winning 5 4. So these teams have not had a perfect season, but they're turning it on the last in the later half as we're looking at our maps here today, right, right now, Pat. Yeah, and it's a good reminder that the season is never over. There's always a way to get back, and uh, congrats on both teams for reaching the finals. I didn't read the notes today because I just got, like, grabbed into the comms two minutes ago. Literally less than two minutes ago, I, I, I just joined the VC and now we're live. So I have no idea what we're about to face. I'm discovering the maps, I'm discovering the teams. And, and I can't wait. It's always fun to watch some good splittings. We're going to start with Umami Zones. Um, I mean, great map map to, to start on. We're going to see what they can do. Playing on zones is always pretty even, especially double zones. There are lots of ways to come back in. On Umami, pretty good for range. Do, do you know these teams? Have you seen these teams before? I, uh, I don't know what they run. I have not, but I guess we're going to find that out right now. As we're yeah. heading into our... Again, our Div 8 final. First thing we're going to see, Har Carbon Roller Heavy edit. Okay, v very in your face. On the other side, the Decapitator, Dreadringer, and Tent. Okay, both teams having a Carbon Roller. So they're going to go and whack each other's faces a lot. They have the Dreadringer from Beat and, you know, the, the very fast pace of the, I believe that is, yeah, Last Squid Sanding with the Wiper and the Carbon and the Splash. So I feel like they're more, much more up in your face while the Hoot Hoot recruits are going to, you know, play their range. <laughs> the tent and the dread ringer but right now it's looking just like a skirmish in mid <laughs> the, 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 the frick the reef slider canceled the tent mm -hmm. and it's just a skirmish as they're both fighting for zone but it looks like Hoot Hoot recruits is going to get the first zone cap first real zone cap here yeah but it's still anyone's game right now mm -hmm. as long as that fight is going as that fight is going pretty strong it's still not complete but yeah it looks like Hoot Hoot recruits are on top of mid right now looking establish some control in front of the zone and as you said th there's a lot of aggressive weapons in this lobby pretty much everybody wants to run in get into the fight we're going to see a lot of fighting action and it's going left and right all the rollers the specials are flying both teams trying to just be up hand in the fight lagoon yeah I, I think there was like four specials popped within that five second mm -hmm. interval but now yeah. it's again just a it's just a it's just a free for all now. Hoot Hoot's now down to just their carbon roller. Who you can see in the back mid right there as Last Squid Sandy finally gets control of the zone. But the carbon Jasor is able to jump out. But now it's Last Squid Sandy's turn to take control of the zone and try to initiate a lockout scenario here. Yeah, that carbon jumping away means a very fast uh, Zuka coming for the next push and <laughs> the specials are coming on the side of Hoot 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 Cap the zone pretty fast, no lead swap. That's going to be more, more action, but two down onto Hoot Hoot. Last bit standing are still in that fight, looking to clean up. It's really on, yeah, Hoot Hoot to move back now. Give some ground respect what Last Bit standing is doing. Yeah, I also just noticed this right now. It doesn't look like there's any cooler from the side of Hoot Hoot recruits. So mm -hmm. they're just gonna, you know, gets that heavy edit from the side of Last Quiz Standing. So they are completely coolerless. So they're gonna have to work really hard to get make sure they get the picks when they need. And when they get into the cooler versus the cooler fights, just mm -hmm. have, to, have to make sure they get their picks and make it count. And it looks like Last Quiz Standing is finally starting to push a little past that chokehold. As I say that, Hoot recruits Ooh. gets the reef slider out. Is not the stamp goes down and Dell, they're going down one by one, but they're able to stall zone for a little bit. The Dread Ringer over there is able to stall even longer, but it's not quite going down. Again, Hoot Hoot's still trying to just get something 
Blast person jumping out, and now only 30 ticks left left for Last Quit Standing. So now Hoo Hoo yeah. Cruz has to get a really good push here. Last Quit Standing with very good control, especially now that they have a crab tank and the split advantage is blue slack. They, they, they got the momentum in this game. Hoot Hoot won the first fight, had the first control over the zone, but in the hand, having, having the range with the heavy edit plus the tacticaler gave more and more momentum throughout the game to last with Slending. They take game number one. But uh, as you said before this game, Lagoon, these teams have known loss before. They, they know how to get a comeback, so this is far from over. Yeah, but again, both these teams having really nail-biting sets in the previous week or so. Mm -hmm. And again, just like the, the amount of specials going off this game was so crazy. Like there's so, so, it seems like like every like five seconds or so there was always a special going off until at the very end where Last Good Standing was able to slowly pick up each of the, each of the members of who, the recruits of who, who recruits. The reset not be able to go too far getting down. And then this crab tank is just applying so much pressure over such long range and there's just not much way to get back in there at that time and it, and last was standing taking a very good very clean game one but who hoots came out the gate swinging that and that's what i feel like they need to do if they're going to run coolers get out there quick and make sure that even if they do get cooler on the side of last was they're not able to take full advantage of it but here and and as we're heading into the true neutral of map picks tc <laughs> and quiet i wonder if they're either going to keep that cooler strategy because I feel like Coolest can work in zones like over all of their modes, but for tower control, I don't know how they're going to, if they're going to do the same thing again. Yeah, I feel like Last Quit Standing have a better composition in terms of holding their ground between the Crab Tank and the Heavy Edit. But uh, if Hoot Hoot recruits are able to keep that uh, fight that they had, that ability to just run in, get into more and more and more fights, for tower control, where you have to get deep into enemy territory, that kind of strategy could benefit them. We'll see. And I, whether they change comp or, or, or else, you, you change the mode, you change the strategy, and a lot could change. No change on the side of the last quiz. Hoot Hoot. Ooh. Bringing a dynamo, that's a tactical that we don't see that often, Lagoon. Yeah, the dynamo is the tactical weapon of choice. And it's not, again, it's a good pick here on, on Inkblot. There's those two, like, uh, pl plats in mid, the left and right. You're able to get a lot of a uh, lot of range out of that. But you start carving from ceiling, going in hard on the, on the Hoo recruits. They're all bunched Ooh. up on the side. They have to jump out immediately. And now it's going to be last quit standing this time to get tower. And they're already pushed so far up ceilings with this shark here. Zuka coming out into the bats. Two down again for the side of Hoot Hoot. <laughs> and another special ready for the hammer. The jet going out really early. And this opening push is looking really good from last quit standing. Yeah, this time it's last quit standing getting all the momentum in the start. And they get already past the second checkpoint. We're just 50 seconds into the game, Lagoon. And these squids are going oh, in oh. incredibly hard. Although the reef slider not getting the splat, but at least getting a little bit. And that ultra stuff getting more and more finally furnished. Last quit Whoa. standing almost getting the third checkpoint yeah. right in one minute what a first push yeah i believe that was beat with the dread ringer getting those two picks at the beginning leaving I believe that's cotton on the wiper all by themselves getting jumps but then dell on this on this uh, decapitator just seeing all those jumps and like okay i'm just gonna charge and kill all of them so all those jumps kind of just cost them more time but again it's now time for who to get this this um their push going as they're one down already, and it's going to be it. And we're going to see if they're able to get in. The Dread gets the pick off the off two picks down for Beat. And with Kohler, so they're going to be coming back real quick. It's not stopping. Both teams are still fighting, but it looks like the last quit standing are still getting forward, getting more and more off of that tower. They are on fire tonight, and then. They just keep getting the attack and Hoot Hoot are struggling to get back in their JSOL with the carbon. Getting one pick and getting some momentum. It looks like Hoot Hoot are getting back control of their own platform. Now they need to get to mid. They need to get forward ahead and get to that checkpoint. 
Yeah, there's a little bit of a carbon fight over here. JSOR versus mm -hmm. Ceiling. JSOR is going to get out with the win. They have the specials advantage now. Cooler is going up for Hoot Hoot. The Zuka going out. And now I feel like Hoot Hoot just needs to keep this man advantage they have right now. Like, they have the cooler. They have the opportunity to push. It's finally their time. And we're going to see if they can keep going. JSOR, another pick on Ceiling. Another card pick. He's going so far. He's off this inkjet. And is able to push them really far mm -hmm. back and allows Hoot Hoot Recruits to get the first checkpoint. Get to the first checkpoint and we have some control over the bat. They maybe could get the second, but here comes the special. Here comes the carbon on the side of last with The tower is back to neutral and it's a 1v1 dynamo versus wiper. The dynamo is going to win. That's checkpoint for Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot is coming back. Dude, the wiper tried to be the hero, but the dynamo from fitness just <laughs> caught, caught. Shut them down. Ooh. Wipe out though on the side of Hoot Hoot. And Lasko standing holds off the tower after going getting a wipe out themselves. But Hoot Hoot got really far. And there's still a lot of time left in this match. There's still 90 seconds. A lot can still happen in that time. A lot can happen, but Hoot Hoot needs to throw everything they have at the tower now. Lasko is standing. Happy to just defend. Happy to wait for the mistake on the side of Hoot Hoot. They're going to uh, have to wait a little bit for Gent back. From Dell, he's going to fight one bats again. Mid control for Hoot Hoot Bats, another push, Lagoon. Yeah, and it looks like Dell is finally able to try to just get in on this right side. They're able to, but they're two down on the side of Hoot Hoot. Just pick it out. The crab tank from Hero is able to pick him off, and it now it's just the carbon on the side of Hoot Hoot. And now Lasko Sandy is going to get their push going. And again, they have the man advantage, so they're going to have this really good push going here. And we're going to see if they can hold it for the, for the last minute of this match. Both teams preparing, they know the end of the game is near and the specials are still flying. <laughs> Last bit standing, activating the hammer, reading up the, the crab tank, they know that they want to block and they get splat after splat, three down onto who's who. Last bit standing, all they know to do right now is stay to be the deny, deny, deny. Yeah. You can see the Wiper and the Carbon both ledge guarding, mm -hmm. trying to get those picks. The Wiper goes down, Jason mm -hmm. tries to come from behind, it's not enough. 10 seconds left for Hoot Hoot Recruits, and they're going to need to get these kills in order mm -hmm. to force an overtime here. One down, two down on the side of Last Quiz Standing. Hold on, hold on. They're, okay, mm -hmm. we're going to overtime here. It's last Quiz Standing, or Hoot Hoot Recruits, sorry, needs to get a really good push going. Yep. They have the specials, but they're using them all right now. Two down, though, on the side of Last Quiz Standing, and it looks like they still have a shot mm -hmm. here. But it, it looks like the... Oh... It's not over, but it's so tough right now for Hoot Hoot. They need to get back on the tower, they need to get back! Right there, yeah, get back on! on. Like, oh, oh! Too late! People jumping in back too late. Last quit standing are going to keep that lead that they're built up. And they are now up 2-0 in this finals. Dell was trying so hard to make sure they they kept tower. But in the end, they're just overwhelmed for the amount of people coming at them from last quit standing. And again, a very, very close game. Who Hoo Hoo had that really good push, but it was only able to get them down to 33. And it looks like they were able, they were looking to do it again with all the all the chaos that was happening at the very end of people just going down left and right. But Last Quit Standing able to keep those defenses up and able to push that really good, really well at that opening push. And yeah, they're looking good. 2-0 Two, to start out this uh, Div 8 final set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's quit standing. Both of these teams struggle in semi-finals. 5-3 for Hoot Hoot and 5-4 for Last Quit Standing. But now it looks like Last Quit Standing really found their calling, found how to, to win things. Hoot Hoot, right now, they, they can be pretty happy that this is the best of nine. They need to use all that time, all these maps, to find the way to adapt, to change their game, switch things up so that they find the counter to what Last Quit Standing is doing. Yeah, and the Dino was working out pretty well. You saw them when they mm -hmm. uh, got that wipeout early on. They were able to defend tower really well and get all those jumps. But it just wasn't enough to compare it to like the heavy edit and the... um, Especially with the amount of bombs that um, Last Quit Standing has with the burst bomb, with the two burst bombs and the torpedo. Very hard for Dynamo to deal with. But they were when they were able to set up, they were able to get set up well. And Robo Ramen Rainmaker... I don't know if the Dynamo's going to be the pick anymore for Hoot Hoot, but I, I'm very entertaining. I'm very... 
open to the idea of them bringing it back because it'll be very entertaining to watch. Well, for Rainmaker, I, I feel like Hootwood needs to bring a Jack Decoda because Rainmaker is so fast, you need to respawn fast. If you don't, you, you're going to lose a lot of ground every time Last Quit Standing activates the Crab Tank. Let's see how these teams deal with the situation right there on the side of Last Quid. It's a zap this time, and uh, on the side of uh, Hoot Hoot. Uh, okay, both teams bringing a, a zap, but double tactical. Ooh, double. On the yeah, side double of tactical. Yeah, double mm -hmm. tactical there. They're going to be. This is what I like to call just a zombie comp, where it looks like they're just going to have the wiper and the carbon go absolutely ham, just not give a care for their lives, and just try and get kills, always come back with tactical cooler. If they're able to alternate the tactic coolers properly, it's a very good strat, but it's just so hard sometimes because you're just kind of stuck, maybe having two tactic coolers at the same time, having to wait for it. And it looks like Hoot Hoot Recruit's getting a very good opening push. Ooh, oh, yeah. Almost able to get first checkpoint, and they're able to. Yeah, very nice first checkpoint, but initial push does a lot. If they're able to get the reap up here, they could get a, a much more, but no, the hammer with the rest of the team coming back are going to deny the pop. But, okay, the Rainmaker is re -grabbed, but last bit standing are able to limit the damage. It looks like Hoot Hoot are the one finding the momentum, getting something done, but on this map, the checkpoint isn't that much. It's pretty much next to mid. So there's still a lot of room for last bit to come back as long as Hoot Hoot let them. Hoot Hoot right now winning the fights, keeping themselves near the middle of the map and ready to re-grab Rainmaker. Or the hammer from, from, from Cotton able to take out Dell. Mm -hmm. I've seen the times where the decapitator just gets through the hammer. But yeah. that's what we were saying, yeah, this this map with the with the checkpoints reminds me a lot of um it does remind me a lot of Undertow where there's that very fast right pathway you can take just to yeah. get to checkpoint fast. And then the left mm -hmm. checkpoint where you can use for pushes as as a Hoo is just trying to defend here. Again, two down though for the side of Last Quit Standing, only with their cooler weapons, so they're without yeah. any like very impactful coolers. And who who's taking the right path to get Ooh. some points? They were not expecting that from Last Quit Standing. Is able mm -hmm. to get able to pick him up before they get too many points, but what a cheeky little move there as the wipeout coming from Hoo Hoo. And now Last Quit has a lot of ground, a lot of time yeah. to get back in. They still need to get past the first checkpoint though. Yeah, last quit. They're fighting well, but Hoot Hoot is using every opportunity to advance the Rainmaker, run in, get the points. It's kind of taking uh, last quit by surprise. That being said, last quit mm -hmm. standing had the checkpoint right now, but Hoot Hoot is answering. It's not over. Hoot Hoot able to answer. That's not going to be lead for the last squid. They, they getting that checkpoint is going to be pretty important for the rest of the game. Yeah, Fitter's doing a great job at holding off the Rainmaker from getting past first checkpoint. Mm -hmm. And this is kind of where the weakness of double cooler lies. You don't have as many special options because mm -hmm. both, te both teams have a Zooka and you have the hammer, but you just don't have anything else to push off of. Mm -hmm. If you don't have those specials ready, you can't really get ready to push off of it. Speaking of pushing, right now it looks like it's Hoot Hooper's time to push. The Reef Slider going in, getting a little more points down. They still have a special in their inkjet, but they're going three down, and last we're sitting again, able to pick off the rest of Hoot Recruits. Another mm -hmm. wipeout, but this time the check is down, so this might be last Squid mm -hmm. Standing's time to shine here. Last Squid Standing needs to snowball that situation. They still have a tactical active despite Having a Rainmaker Courier, they need to keep going in and in, and it looks like they are finding their way forward this time, but need to dodge for a few players down, but they're still able to jump back in. They were under Tactical, this push is far from over. Hoot Hoot trying to drop the Rainmaker away, are going to reset it, but with three down, that's another push for last quit standing. Yeah, this is a good stall method though from Hoo Hoo. Again, able just just taking their time. They have the specials ready, but again, their carbon goes down. Reef Slider tries to go in, get get some awesome chaos. They do two down, two v two on the side of either team. It's just the Rainmaker from Yellow against this Zap. Is are they just gonna? They're gonna wait for the team, which is a very mm -hmm. smart choice. They're they're all coming back, and now. Last Quit Standing has no time, but J-Score able to get through and get the pick as we head to the final minute. But Last Quit Standing is still right there on the greats of, of who, who recruits. And oh, we're but a wipeout! Wipe uh, that's the third or fourth wipeout, but Last Quit Standing is able to get this team from half the lead. They're still struggling to run forward. Hoot Hoot responding over and over, denying again. And now and they get the wipeout! <laughs> 
Last with standing. Last with standing got that wipeout that they needed, but that was the time that who, who was cooler. It is just time for them to keep going. Mm -hmm. However, there is still time. This game is not over until either the clock is up, someone dies, or knockout. 15 seconds left on the clock, and Hoot Hoot is just going to keep it in mid. Mm -hmm. Last quick standing has to build for those specials. Ceiling tries to go in with Carbon, but not able to get through. The Wiper gets through, Ooh. though, but two down. It's going, it looks like it's going over time. We're going to stall the stall the Rainmaker pop. Are, are they going to get it in time? It looks like they will. They're going to, this is the fi final chance here. By almost nothing but two players down. This is not ideal for last with standing right now. They have to move back, but they don't want to move back. All oh, everybody trying to respawn. Last with standing just surviving. Getting the splash before we make up a don't retreat. There's two down! Left. Two down. They need to go forward. They need to find a way in. Last with standing oh, has a the final shot. They need to run in. Jason! Jason it misses it's it! Not over. It's the not bomb! Over. Not quitting! They have to go. There is they so much in the way! There is some time. They need to go in now! Just run and it! Run He's gotta run it! Not enough! Oh! What? That was so close. Last with standing. Over and over, keeping themselves alive, but Hoot Hoot responding in and denying that final push from the last squid. Yeah. And sh shout outs to Twice for carrying the Rainmaker, knowing it's like I just the only shot they had to keep mm -hmm. the push alive was to just back off, wait mm -hmm. for the team, and they did. There just wasn't enough, enough time for them to go through to get to just try and rush it to get to the points they needed. But again, very good hold off from Hoot Hoot. And that's kind of the problem that we saw from the double cooler comp. You just don't have the specials, the the yeah. one more special you need to make that push. Mm -hmm. The Zuka and the Hammer were doing really well, but it just wasn't enough pressure. As we see, this this is the push that got Hoot Hoot down to 24 points. Mm -hmm. And last week, Sanding had three or four wipeouts that game, but mm -hmm. two were back in their own spawn. Yeah. And one was when they were ready to push, but just not enough to keep going. Whew, that was that was a lot. <laughs> It's as you said, last week standing with a double cooler, they kept themselves in the game, the whole game. And when they were fighting well, but when it mattered, when they wanted to push forward and get that extra point with the Rainmaker, they were missing one special. They were missing a triple ink striker, Zuka, that would have allowed them to, to force Hutu to move back and themselves to move in. But that means Hutu recruits have one point on the board. We are now two to one. As we are going to our fourth mode of the night, it's going to be Clam Blitz on Museum D'Alfonsino. I really, I really like this map personally, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, it, and it looks like, from what I see, no pencils or any, like, chargers from the side of either team right now. So yeah. they don't... So, and chargers really thrive on this map, but it's going to be, like, which of their... If the heavy edit from the side of Last Good Standing is able to get on... The, you really want to control like the top middle platform on this map because once you're able to take control of that and if you have any sort of like pseudo anchor anchor there they just have so much control of enemy spinner enemy plat and then you can see so much but it's going to be whether or not they're able to who's going to take who takes control and who gets who gets the retakes they need to to push on this map i i feel like last week standing have shown that they have better control over the game but in Clam Blitz, you have that same problem that you have in Rainmaker. At some point, controlling the middle of the map is not enough. You need the way to get in. And at that part of the game, Hoot Hoot Recruits has shown what they're able to do. So I expect Last Quit Standing to have big control for most of the game. But Hoot Hoot will, will have that one explosive push that will put so many clams in the basket. Be ready for that. Do not blink. Last Quit Standing are going to need to defend. You, you talked about range. I feel like if Last Quit Standing are able to bring back that, tra that crap tank, they, they would have bad control over the whole map whenever they activate that special. Yeah, because you have you could have the head and the um, the crab mm -hmm. trade off. But as you said, it's like on Clam Blitz, it's really not a good idea to get a lot of little pushes in because that mm -hmm. only fuels your opponent more. All it takes is one push to end the game on Clam Blitz. I know the same. That's true for all modes, but big pushes on clam blitz. As a, and I eat my words immediately as there is a pencil on the side of Lasco standing. And again, it looks like um, Hoot Hoot is going to not go with this a cooler at all. Instead of opting for a double Zooka comp 
with the tents, just like they ran in game one. So let's see how differently that plays on Umami Zones versus here on, on Museum. Yes, yeah, so glad to see a tent come back. And, and for Clambits, having that big shield to go under the enemy basket is a pretty good asset. You have an extra wall. Right now, both teams fighting for me, trying to get the upper hand, and everybody falling left and right. It looks like Hootswood are getting a bit more from the fight. Twice the last squid standing on the last squid team with uh, the pencil is just trying to defend the platform. Yeah, and, and that's the that's the that's the hard part about running cooler versus double versus no cooler. You're like, oh yes, we took three of them down, but then immediately they're all back, and you don't have that security when you're hoot, hoot recruits. You can only just play to. This is all a lot more skill, not skill based, but you know you have a lot less uh, margin for error when you're running no cooler. Then I say that who uh, last was standing, excuse me, is starting to get the push, but Dell again with this inkjet able to force all of last was standing into one spot and just splitting them up to make sure they're not able to get any more of a push off, waiting for their teammates to come back. And it looks like last was standing still has control of mid, but they're not able to get past the plat of who recruits here. Yep, the fight is not working and it looks like Hoot recruits are the ones taking control, are the ones who are getting to the platform first and they already have the super clan, they already have so much, Bazooka is going to find some and with two down, Hoot recruits have a good push on their hands right now, they just need to put clams in the basket, but they're struggling, oh yes, double two super clams in is a, is a pretty good first push. Yeah, caught in there, making sure the tent didn't get any more value than it could have, or else they would have mm -hmm. probably pushed it with it a lot more. And again, that shot on the on the pencil able to get such a nice clean hitch Suka shot. But now, last percentage has a lot of clams here. They're able to get if they can get a good push going here, they're they're going to make so much profit off of it. But again, it's just who recruits are saying no. You cannot pass our wall of specials and our just a wall of damage. <laughs> And it's just going to be up to last percent to find out when they can, when is their time to go in? Because who looks like they're using their special a lot more defensively now. <laughs> oh, the inkjet gets canceled out. But again, one goes down for last good, one goes down for who? Two down for who? And last percent has to take control of this. Right now, is it get a delayed wipe? That is huge right now, the last squid standing, miss the basket, <laughs> you need to get the clam in the basket right now, we have another super clam, we are tied, just one more clam would put the last squid standing in the lead, but there's nobody to score the clams, oh yes, oh. there is just one clam, all they needed for the lead, two minutes left in the game and it's on Hoot Hoot Recruits to get another push, as I say that Dell is getting in, Dell already has a super clam, that's They're another Ooh. Oh, they went, they went a little too fast. I was like, they're going so fast, but they're going to, There's two power extends on the side of Hoo all right next to the power basket, but they're not able to be scored. And Fikers th has to just play it back. They're jumping out with their power clam, but sadly, two clams down for Hoo 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 recruits. They were going a little too fast for their yeah. own good, and they just get shut down by Last Squid standing a bit too eager to get in, losing their coordination in the rush right there. Last Squid standing are back in control right now with two down onto the Hood Hood. Last Squid standing look pretty nice with their three points lead. It's just so unfortunate for Hood Recruits mm -hmm. losing both the clams and I believe their pity clam yeah. too. Yeah, there's none right below their thing. So not yeah. only are they going to have to get out of this, which looks like last year's standing pushing really good, but they're going to have to t find a time in the last minute to get the clam economy back. They only need one power clam and two regular clams to get in. But sometimes when you're just f pushed b far back, it, you don't you don't notice that you don't have clam until it's already too late. So they have to make sure they're on top of the clam economy here. Yeah, the clam economy is peak and with two down onto Hoot Hoot, it's going to be pretty rough for them. They need to get the clams going, but last quick standing. Now they're just fighting for me. They know that's all they need to do with Bazooka coming in, getting splat after splat. The trades are coming the way of the last quick who reopened the basket just to add extra points. Yeah, but they had to be careful. They make sure they score enough, and it looks like they're scoring a really good amount. Because if, if they scored and didn't get any points off it, that was a lie. <laughs> That's just a power clamp from Hoo Hoo. But it looks like Last Squid is just trying to win by knockout. But it's not enough. And, and Hoo Hoo is going to get one chance here. They're going to... Oh, it didn't spawn. It, it didn't spawn in time. Oh, there was man. no power clamp on the map. 
So wow. even though they were going to get one, it's not enough. And and last good standing is able to take game four and go three one against Hoot Hoot recruits. Three one and I mean last quit standing kind of going there saying, okay, we don't like Rainmaker, you can beat us there, but on every other mode, last quit standing has been dominated. <laughs> dominating has been doing so much taking control taking the points these two teams were pretty even but in the end last quit standing finding the formula finding what to do and showing how strong they can push what a way to end the game yeah last quit standing was like okay let's just go full out here and if they had if who had maybe like five ten more seconds they would have triggered overtime mm -hmm. because that power claim would have dropped yeah. And it looks like they were getting ready for a push because we saw the Dreadringer so far up getting mm -hmm. one. Maybe he was they were trying to get one before time ran out, but just not enough time. And again, it's just they were so ready to start going, but just not there when they needed it. And again, they both had really good opening pushes and Last was standing able to get that one extra in. And then for the rest of the game, they just kind of said no to who, who recruits who again were just not able to if they were able to convert off that P three power crimes earlier, they would have had an amazing lead, but just not in the cards at that game. And we're going to head back to zones again, and we're going to see if they, again, who, who brings back to this no cooler weapon against Last Good, who seems to run, who's seeming to run it every single game. But Mako Mart, as I see now, that's a map where any any weapon can work if you if you're able to. Uh, Mako's just a really good map for all weapons, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, and if there's one weapon you need to uh, to, t to be aware of, it's that Dreadwinger. Not only can the Dreadwinger absolutely shred under these ledges, and there are so many ledges on Macrobot. Also, with not that much special power-up, you can Reef Slide onto the zone and capture it, because it's plus shaped, it's perfect for the Reef Slider explosion. Yeah, what you're saying... Yeah, there's a lot of ledges for both both teams because both teams are running mm -hmm. that carbon roller. Who who's that oh, yeah. reef slider? And again, the tents with the double zooka with the tent and the carbon. There's a lot of there's a lot of potential for both teams here, and it's just going to be very it's going to be very interesting to see what happens because as again, this is the map. This is the one map where so many um so many different combinations of map of weapons can work here. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens as I see from Quinnation. Looks like looks like who's taking a little little bit of a break right now. So we're gonna have a little a tiny bit of an intermission here, but mm -hmm. we're gonna be here to keep you company throughout it. Oh yeah, I mean it, it's been a, a great set so far. These two teams showing us w what it takes to reach the finals of uh, of your multi division, and and right there adapting. I feel like last week standing were in in charge of that uh, last game but who two recruits are getting there are, are learning what last week standing is doing are starting to win more fights are starting to get more grounds and if they're able to apply that a little bit more to a little bit more of that onto macro zones they they will have a very very good time and, and, and again it bears witness it bears repeating like neither of these teams had perfect group stages like i'm looking through it right now last quiz inning went 4-1 mm -hmm. in their group and and um sorry if i can if i can find it believe yeah <laughs> who, who recruits one in a tiebreaker to get the second uh the second playoff spot against krill streak where they won where they're both 3-2 but because who, who had the win over them they were able to make it so again both these teams who who especially is known to like okay we have to we have to win this map we have to win here so mm -hmm. they they know how to pull it out of the bag when they need to and last quick standing again they're no slouches that that other team that went in with a hoot recruits bakery assault last quick got the 5-2 victory over them our supplies and rainfall again they were both rainfall and our supplies were in the same group and were very good again mm -hmm. who recruits gets the win over rainfall and last quick standing gets the win over our supplies so again both these teams no they know what they're doing yeah. In these in the in the Div AA. So th they are not slouches whatsoever. They deserve to get in these finals, even if they had to and they had to claw and, and scratch and fight to get back here. Yeah, as you said, experiencing defeat and overcoming that is the best thing that you can have as a competitor, especially 
in the below divisions in division eight like that's what you want to learn is your ability to come back to understand okay we were doing that wrong we're not going to let that keep us down we're going to come back we're going to get better we're going to win now and uh, Hoot Hoot recruits facing that that problem once again they know that they can do it they've won a map already they know that they can win fights again last quit standing they know that they just need to to find things how to to get things going how to uh to get it done right there and uh it's all about uh, all, all making it work, recognizing what Last Quit Standing is doing and finding the counter. And I, I'm kind of glad that we get to see these two teams because they're feisty, they like to fight. I love to see teams that just want to run at their enemy and get into more and more fights and both of these teams do that and they both do that beautifully. Yeah, that takes me back to the game one map where it's just for the first like minute or so they were just it was just splats everywhere just trying to fight for ground but again it's like what you're saying here the the I feel like the most important thing you can learn from lo from like these lower level dudes is like yes you want to try and be the best but it's also about realizing how do you deal with loss how do you deal with losses in games like there have been we saw earlier this week in um div x a reverse 5-4 sweep and that's because that's because Golden Hour is like, okay, we're four down, but we still have a shot. This game is, this set is never truly over until the fifth point is scored. Reverse sweeps happen all the time. And again, they're hype when they're happening, but again, it's just how, how resilient are you? How good is your mindset? How, how good are you against tilting? Like, that's the thing you want to learn. How do you, well, do you do under pressure? How can you keep your cool? So it'll be interesting. And both these teams have proven they could do that. Who had mm -hmm. to fight and claw their way to make playoffs, and they're in the finals here. And Slash so Gaming had no easy time either. So it's gonna be it's gonna be I feel like it's gonna be down to the wire here. Will it be a five, a four four game nine? Maybe not, but it will still be a very, very close games all around. And all teams are ready. We're back in the fight. Let's hope, but I mean having a break in the middle of the set can change a lot of momentum. Who kept looking, firing at weapons? Who is still hot? Who got their mindset back on track? And Hoot Hoot recruits are bringing back the Dynamo. Uh, on this map, I can only commend that move. Dynamo is perfect for this map. Yeah, Dynamo has a lot of a lot of control if they're able to get it on those stacks. But it looks like right now it's just a little bit of a stalemate in mid as as Last Who's Standing is now able to get finally get going and take control of the right stack here. Jet is out from the side of Hoot Hoot. One down on either side, but twice gets the thing, but Race Slider gets the pick and gets the zone. And now Hoot Hoot, uh, excuse me, Last Quick Standing is three down. And now Hero is out. And now H and now Hoot Hoot Recruits is going to have their turn to get control of zone here. Yeah, and they have good control, especially Weaver Splat on the heavy edit before the tactical is activated. As I said, that Captain Weaver Hammer is going to take the zone. All of Hood Hood needs to move back. That's going to be nice control for the last quit standing. We're still early in the game, so there's pretty much no penalty. That's going to be a lead back for the last quit. And with the crab tank, that's very, very nice control for them. Yeah, and the main the component you're going to watch on the side of Hoo <laughs> is this Dreadringer with the Reef Slider. B at any time can just snap their fingers and be like, okay, this zone is mine now. Like, I'm, a, I'm certain they have enough special power to make sure their Reef Slider isn't getting enough value. And it looks like Hoo is doing well to follow up on it because it's two down on the side of Last Quit Standing. Dynamo from Ooh. Fitters is able to get get right right stack for a second. Cooler is out, and it looks like Hoo is trying to get back here. <laughs> they take out the hammer, and that's a very bad pick if you're last good standing. Ooh. Very nice moves by the Dynamo there, but the Crab Tank is back on top. Hero, every time Hero activates that Crab Tank, all of Hoot Hoot recruits need to move back, need to keep the space right now. The last quit standing are holding the lead again, getting rid of their small penalty. Look at looking at getting a bit more points. Yeah, and it's very back and forth right now. Again, not much, um, not much penalty, but the pick is not is going to be able to help as the, the Reef Slider is a distraction. 
Carmen's able to get an advantage. Wiper from Cotton is is on the bottom right, not able to get the picks quite yet. Hammer out. Oh, the decap goes through the hammer. You hate to see it. And now Hoo Hoo is going to maybe take the lead 15 more ticks until such a case. But the crab take from last squid standing seems to be Hoo Hoo's kryptonite. So it's going to be mm -hmm. very interesting if they're able to counteract it well. Three, Ooh. two, not enough. One point, and who, who takes the lead here in Mako Mart? They take the lead, and they still have a lot on the map, but here comes the hammer. The hammer is kind of make or break, being either punished or not. Right now, the hammer just got punished by Pete. That's going to be more control for who to beat. Grabs the map again, grabs the zone, and that's more control for who to beat. Who are keeping the lead and getting more and more points. I'm noticing this mind game too a little bit from Hoo because every time they they see the the dread with the the special they're like we cannot let them activate Resider because of the zone flip and every time they get so hyper fixated on it that another member of Hoo is able to take them down before they able to get the get the dread ringer and Dell is now last from the side of Hoo and they're gonna have to be fighting really well as yeah. as they have to wait for their team to get back wisely jumping back and re and getting back with their team as they look to to try and retake zone now. Yeah, saving that special meter is so important to push back in. <gasps> the dynamo falls down, but so does the wiper. We get a bit of trade as right now the last quits are looking to get the lead. But here comes the reef slider denying, applying penalty once again. Who to recruits? I mean, they apply penalty, but last squids are back on top, back in control of the zone, looking to get a bit more. They're winning the fight this time. They are back. Uh -huh. No more penalty and free down. It's a wipe out of that elite swipe. That's the worst thing, who who Christina, because their dynamo did not have the they had the cooler out, but no one was able to get in time. And now they're gonna be looking at that dread ringer to try and get the reef slider just to stall any longer. Two down though on the side last with standing, and the reef slider is out. Crab is gonna give the cop. Government, but it's not enough, and Hoo is able to take zone. And, and B is able to chase down the crab. Hero is going down, and now Hoo recruits from the jaws of death, looking to try and take a victory out of this. 30 seconds left. The carbon from last was standing able to get in, but not able to find the picks yet. Zuka is out, and then oh, it's just a mad, it's just madness right now in mid as last was standing uses a hammer and is able to take back zone now. The last with standing, getting the picks, getting back into control. Now Hood Hood needs to get in. The Reef Slider is not even enough to capture the zone right there. And twice cleaning up with the heavy edit. That is 4 1. And that means last quit standing are now on match point. Yeah, the Reef Slider worked, worked every time except the time that who really wanted it to, to recap that zone. But again, it just was so close and every time they were able to go, go off it really well but last quiz standing just able to get the picks and that wipe against who who when they only one of them had cooler or they just popped it was devastating because it gave last quiz standing so much time to just to just make points and get as much as they can here and you see the reslider going to come out here in just a second as we're looking at, at this replay it's just, I don't even know if it would have been enough, but the, you, at that point, you can only ha do de a desperation play. Coming in, not enough paint, not quite enough, and they just get taken down. And Lasko Sanding is heading into, hopefully, their season point here against Hoot Hoot Recruits. Yeah, it is very much an uphill battle for the Hoot Hoot Recruits. They need to win. All the games from now on, they need to win on all modes. We have four maps remaining with four modes and they need to win them all. They will have to start with tower control onto Monta Maria. It's such a big map. They will have lots of uh, ways to place, lots of ground to take, but they need to take all that ground and again, they, they need to use these ledges wisely if they want to get forward. I really hope they bring back the Dynamo because this is one of Dynamo's best maps that we constantly see. That they, if they're able to get again, we say this a lot. Dynamo is able to get the greats in mid or bunker on mm -hmm. on either side. There's just so much pressure they can apply. Brushes oh, yeah. and rollers love that spot because they can flick right over and just not have to worry about fighting directly. As we see, no switches from Last standing. Uh, no, no. No Dynamo yeah. from the side of uh, Hoot Hoot, but the Neo Stamper to counter 
maybe the other crab tanks and so now both teams have crab tanks both mm -hmm. teams have pretty similar uh specials now and it's gonna mm -hmm. be we're gonna see how this works for the Neo St for the Stamper Nouveau on the side of who, who recruits here. Yeah, who recruits getting a bit more space with that Neo Stamper, that's a mid range threat, but last quit standing, don't mind, they win the first team fight and ceiling is already in there, waiting for the opportunity, trying to come that ledge, trying to get some, and with Bazooka, he's going to get two already! First checkpoint is down, and the third one for ceiling, ceiling popping off right now, looking to get a bit more, and twice on the tower, simply riding past the second checkpoint, last quit standing on a victory lap right now! That was terrifying to witness, that Carbon just sharking right there. Again, Ledge is so important to Carbon gameplay, and Lesquist standing is not slowing down. They have, again, 3-1 against who recruits they're in a lot of trouble here and again last one standing has all the specials has all the points five more to get the wipe out who recruits gonna take Ooh. out everyone except for ceiling they were trying their hardest to go and they get taken out and who recruits have again stopped them from getting a knockout but there is a long long way for them to keep this set going they have to basically knock out now amazing opening push here for last one standing the recruits are hanging on by a thread right now. There's almost nothing left for them. It's just Jason with the carbon trying to stay on me, trying to keep something going, but gets called out and punished by ceiling. Last bit standing are going to be back on the attack now. Back in there and ceiling getting another splat, getting some more hero with a crab tank. That crab tank on top of, of his great is going to push all of the recruits back last bit standing getting more and more control and <laughs> look at that all of the middle of the map completely orange right there yeah who who recruits just needs to find they, they're they need to find time in order to get mid back mm -hmm. this is a good start two down both mm -hmm. of them are stuck in the corner two mm -hmm. down well, delayed way from last bit standing and this is what who who needs get all the map control you can right now before they come back be almost able to take down the heavy edit with the reef slider gonna come from behind just trying as hard oh. as a one-man wrecking crew, oh. not able to find any picks. But who who recruits is still trying to push this checkpoint, but they're two down and they have to back off oh. for now. It is just the zap left. And last quit standing gonna rightfully reclaim their place in mid. Coming back so fast and has such a such a good uh defense here. With two minutes left, not getting that first checkpoint has to be so painful for the recruits right there. It's last quit standing third to get back onto the tower to get back in attack and cotton with the wiper getting all the splats right there this is going to be more and more for the last quit standing there's no checkpoint on their way the, the tower is blazing through the whole map as the last quit standing are going in there on that final stretch that final finish line they Five, want to four, end it here three no oh, one point oh, one point oh. wipe out Oh, no. HHR saying, no, we are not dying now. You are it's not wiping not... us out. 90 it's seconds not left. It's, it's not, not over, over until it's over. There is, there is still time for a KO. We have seen, we have seen crazier things happen. This is HHR time to fully just go turbo mode and take out Last Good Standing. But it doesn't look like it's going very well at the start. Dell is trying everything they can. Like they, they're right now. They're fighting. One minute left in the season, and it looks like Huhu is still just trying to stumble back into mid right now. <laughs> it's still the fight for me. Jason able to get one, but the rest of the team falls down. Who to recruit? Not able to get that control over the tower cotton. Just simply dancing around. No that they can jump back. 40 seconds left. Who to recruit? They don't have that many tries left and they lost three players again. That's, That's a wipeout! Wipe That's the oh. worst thing you want if you're who, who recruits. I honestly don't even think last was sending needs the right tower anymore. Keep it in mid and just go fight now if you can. This is Hoot Hoot's last, last chance. Ceiling again, looking at those ledges, seeing who's gonna fall, who's gonna fall. Gets Ooh. one on the carbon. The Zuka gets another, the Zap Ooh. is down. Three picks for Ceiling. Oh. And it looks like with 10 seconds left, not only are they the last one standing, but they are the last team standing in Division AA. They are going to win the Div. Last one standing are your Division AA champions.
And what a final game by the last quit standing. And kudos to Hoot Hoot recruits. They fought hard. They didn't give up. They almost got KO twice, but they stayed there. They kept trying over and over to crack that last quit standing, but it didn't work. Last quit standing. Well deservedly beat the incredible Hoot Hoot recruits to be your Division 8A champions. Hoot Hoot had that never say die attitude that they needed. Unfortunately, they just could not get the control that they needed as those amazing plays from Seal on the Carbon and Cotton from the Wiper and Hero on the Crab Tank and just everyone in general is so did so well and was did so well for this entire match. This Manta match especially was amazing for last quit standing. Yeah, it was so awesome to watch so much happening right there. And uh, I believe that means it's uh, it's the end of uh, <laughs> this Looty season for Division 8A, but also the end of this stream for the two of us, Lugu. Yeah, that was a very eventful, very eventful set here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, again, congrats to both of these teams. Congrats to Let's Go for winning Division 8A. Congrats to Hoot Hoot for making it to the finals. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, Pat, where can we where can we find where can we find you at here? You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Pat J Autumn with underscores in between. If you remove the underscores, you can find me on uh, Blue Sky, where I try to post more. And uh, Lagoon, where where can I find you on the internet? Yeah, right now it's a uh... A lot, a lot of places, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, hopefully Blue Sky more, more soon. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and also around the competitive, going to be going for low ink this uh, next weekend. So that'll be fun. But yeah, for everyone here and Pat, thank you for helping me through this, for getting in here for one la the last minute. Uh, oh, my pleasure. Yeah, and, it, and for everyone that's hoping for more tune tomorrow, we have five more finals for you guys tomorrow here on Ludi tonight and hope and splatoon tourney thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you hopefully tomorrow for some more splatoon action and for the end of Ludi.